What's up guys, Paul from the Sysadmin channel bringing you the best tips and tools for your Sysadmin journey. In this video, we're going to cover how to install Exchange 2019 as well as upcoming videos to cover all the configurations needed to run Exchange in your organization. Let's get started. So before we do any actual Exchange installation, I went ahead and brought up the Exchange server system requirements since there are a couple of things I wanted to note. Uh, the first one being is that you must have Active Directory 2012 R2 or higher for its functional level. And the second item being is that you must have Exchange installed on a 2019 server. Um, the server must be standard or data center version. So those two items cover the items I wanted to mention for the server system requirements. Next up is the Exchange server prerequisites. A couple of things I wanted to note here is that for CommuniLive update four and later, uh, you must have .NET 4.8 or higher. And the second item I wanted to cover is for the Exchange prerequisites is that you must have PowerShell RSAT tools installed on the Exchange server itself. And finally, I thought I would bring up the documentation for preparing your Active Directory domain and your schema. Uh, this page will have the commands you need to successfully complete the task. And it's also worth noting that if your Exchange admin is not an enterprise or schema admin, uh, you can send this documentation to your AD folks so they can take care of that task for you. And uh, I'll go ahead and leave all of these links in the description so you can take a look at it when you're ready. All right, so now back into our Windows system. I went ahead and mounted the ISO file for Exchange 2019 on my on my server. And the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and open up PowerShell, and we're going to want to install the Active Directory module. And to do that, we'll go ahead and paste in install-windows feature rsat ad tools. We're going to need our ad tools so we can run commandlets, Active Directory commandlets on our Exchange server. Um, the first command that we're going to type in is get ad principal group membership. Um, this is just so we can see that I am a part of the schema admins as well as the enterprise admins. All right, so now that we confirm that I am in those two groups, we'll go ahead and clear the screen here and uh, get ready to prepare our Active Directory schema. So to do that, we'll go ahead and type in the setup.exe along with the prepare schema flag. And what this is going to do is going to copy the files from the source to the destination. I do a prerequisite analysis as well as the extend uh, the Active Directory schema. Here we can see that the command completed successfully, which is always good. So the next thing we're going to do here is go ahead and, and prepare our Active Directory. Uh, to do that, we'll go ahead and run setup.exe along with the prepare AD flag, as well as setting the organization name to the sysadmin channel, which is our demo lab. I'll go ahead and press enter to that. And here you can see that the setup has begun. So here you can see that it's going to copy the files again, do another prerequisite analysis, as well as configure and prepare Active Directory for Exchange 2019. We can see here that the organization preparation has completed. So now if you have a multi-domain forest, um, we're going to need, the, need to run the setup.exe along with the prepare all domains flag. Um, in my case, I only have a single domain, so this is not necessary for me. Um, so from here, the next step we're going to do is we'll go ahead and run the setup.exe and kick off Exchange. All right, so now we should be prompted with the wizard. I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, do not check for updates at this moment. Uh, this installation takes a very long time. I think it took me probably about an hour. So I do not want to wait any longer to install the updates. I will go ahead and click on next to the introduction page. Uh, make sure you read that if you want to. All right, the next thing we're going to do is read through all of the license agreement and go ahead and accept those terms. We'll go ahead and click Next. Um, I'm going to use recommended settings just for the ease of this deployment. Uh, we'll go ahead and click Next here. And since this is the first Exchange server in our organization or our domain, I'm going to select a mailbox role and automatically install Windows Server roles. We'll go ahead and click on Next to here as well. And next up is the installation space and location for our database. I'm going to go ahead and leave this as the default because in the next video, we're going to configure the database as well as the location and logs. Uh, so next is fine here. And for the malware protection settings, we'll go ahead and click on no here. Um, it's really confusing the way they have that set up. But um, once you select next to there, Exchange Setup is going to do its readiness checks. And what that basically means is that it's going to do some more prerequisite analysis as well as some configuration prerequisites. Um, once that is complete, we'll go ahead and click on install and fire off this installation. So like I mentioned before, this entire installation takes around an hour to an hour and a half. Uh, there's a total of 13 steps and it takes, uh, it, take, it takes quite a while. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it play out for those people that actually wanna see the progress bar move. And uh, I'm gonna play some music in the background just so uh, just so we can we can move through this. Uh, the installation should be complete by the five minute mark. So it should be about 20 seconds later. All right, after that very long installation, I, I finally got the uh, setup complete message. So I went ahead and restarted my server. And now back on here, I'm going to open up Internet Explorer because that's where we, uh, we manage Exchange on-prem. And here in our browser, I'm gonna type in HTTPS along with the fully qualified domain name of our Exchange server forward slash ECP and enter in our credentials. Since this is the first time that we're logging into Exchange Admin Center, it's going to prompt us for our language as well as our time zone. So we'll go ahead and enter that information as well. And once that's complete, we'll go ahead and uh, check out the Exchange Admin Center. And since we're able to log in successfully, I'm gonna take that as a win for a successful installation. All right, guys, so that about wraps it up for this video. In our next video, we're gonna take a look at configuring the Exchange server we just implemented and the following video, we're gonna take a look at the certificates needed for managing Exchange. Once again, this is Paul from the SysAdmin channel, signing out. All right, this is the second part of the... Yeah, yeah, yeah.